at this point, we're going into the Spirit PC setup, uh, server setup tab. So we're going to connect the uh, Spirit to the um, to a twist lipo, so we can start up the P. Uh, the spirit we're gonna wait until the light here is steady once the light is steady we're going to start the uh, PC program we're going to go into the uh, servos uh, tab and here in the servos tab we already set this up earlier to uh, the cyclic servos being uh, 1520 uh, 333 that's for my expert uh, servos and the same uh, for the rotor uh, tail servos 760 and 560 that's for my expert uh, servo at this point we're going to um, uh, center the servos at mid stick so we're going to click on this uh, uh, tab the sub trim uh, menu so what the what this will do is that it will make it so that the collective stick will not have any effect on the cyclic or the tail servo. I will uh, center the uh, uh, cyclic servo, and the cyclic servo is not centered here yet. I will change the uh, servo uh, center position here on the uh, PC and negative 20 uh, seems to be the right the correct place to make the servo completely uh, 90 degrees to the uh, servo itself now we're going to work on the cyclic servos and on the general tab we figured out that the uh, channel 2 uh, here I change the servo to be channel 2 it's going to be the elevator uh, servo for my particular helicopter uh, servo uh, channel 1 will be the left uh, aileron servo and channel uh, uh, 3 and I actually put a number 3 here will be the um, left aileron servo so for channel two, I'm gonna go back to the servos of a screen. Again, sub trim, and I will make this 90 degrees to the servo case. And again, this is number two, the elevator. Oh, and um, by the way, I, didn't uh, make this uh, clear earlier but as I move the uh, stick I didn't make this clear earlier but as I move the stick I want the uh, the servos to move collectively up and down so in this case I actually have to change a uh, channel 2 to uh, be uh, reversed so that the servos all when I move the stick up all the servos move up and when I move the stick down, all the servos move down. All right. And at this point, um, I'm going to concentrate on the channel two. So this is a, a servo number two. And, then, and we're going to make this uh, centered. So at this point, oops, I'm going to have to check on, check on sub trim first. I forgot to do that. And now at this point, let's see, we're going to find out the correct position where uh, the center should be. And this is a sub trim. And negative 13 seems to be the correct place for this particular servo. For channel number one, all right, we're going to find the center position 
here on the sub trim and as you can see as I move the sub trim up and down or I guess uh, up and down we figure out that the way I um, put this uh, servo arm here let's see about negative 46 is the correct place to make this 90 degrees and now we're going to go on to channel number uh, a three okay or servo number three which is uh, up here and let's see what happens as I move this uh, a stick so we know it's on the negative side and let's see about uh, I guess negative 76 is what uh, will make this uh, servo arm exactly 90 degrees to uh, the servo itself and I think we are done uh, with this step we just need to uh, save this step